This is what the government calls the City of Hope. Thousands of former Kinshasa residents have been relocated here, most by force, on the far outskirts of the capital after massive floods last year. One angry nurse says she used to live in a nice house with nice furniture, but now this is the only chair she has. Her belongings are in a bundle on the ground. She says she does not even have a bed or a mattress and that she lost everything. She says the plastic tents they live in here become horribly hot during the day because of the sun. She says she feels trapped and does not have enough money to go to Kinshasa anymore. So she delivers babies for free behind these cloths in a place many are calling the city of despair. There is no clean water here, so everyone trudges along to a nearby creek. It's used for everything, washing clothes, cooling off, washing and drinking. It's also used for cooking. It's muddied and makes many people sick. Doctors Without Borders opens medical tents for emergency purposes, but says it's up to the government to come up with a long-term solution. A regional official for the Red Cross, Alassane Sangor, says it's not easy for African governments to deal with natural disasters. He says it seems these disasters are getting much more frequent with global warming, making impoverished people that much more vulnerable to barely surviving. Two years ago, we were doing drought relief. And then now we are doing flood relief. So it, it's a complex situation. And I think we are beginning to see uh, a mixture of everything. Um, last year, when we pl did our planning, based on the response that was done for the drought, we built in the system long-term projects, small-scale projects. In the so-called City of Hope, women sell charcoal to get by. Some men sell dried fish. Residents say they eat plants they find in the nearby forest. People are far away from everything, so it's hard for them to survive. They say the military won't let them go. On this day, government officials have decided to relocate some residents to what looks a bit more like homes, forcing them once again to move all their belongings. The plan goes horribly wrong as it starts pouring rain. The residents in the City of Hope are once again at the mercy of bad government decisions and the elements. They have only themselves to comfort each other as well as promises of a better future. On this treeless plot of land, the Humanitarian Affairs Ministry is promising to build real houses, schools, a medical clinic, and even a shopping center. Most find that hard to believe, but the sun comes out quickly again here, and it is the city of hope. Okay. Okay.